Well, this academic year, we have reported on several tragic incidents impacting the Charlotte Mecklenburg school community. Those include deadly car crashes and shootings involving students. And these traumatic events can have a lasting impact on students. That's why CMS has a crisis response team to help them. WCNC Charlotte's Jesse Pierre live now in West Charlotte. And Jess, how does this team step in to help? Well, the crisis response team really is a resource to students, someone they can speak to about their feelings or a loss if a crisis happens. They're at every school throughout the district and ready to help. I knew from a very young age that I was meant to help other people, especially kids, and to be there for them. About 750 counselors, psychologists, and social workers make up the crisis prevention and response team at CMS. And a priester is one of them. It's very difficult um, because we know anytime we have a crisis, it affects the whole school community. Taking action and providing mental and emotional support in times of need. We have had quite a few um, car accidents. We've had quite a few bus accidents. Um, luckily, our gun violence um, homicides are, are less than in the past, but they're still there and they're still way too many. Priester says trauma can show up in many ways. It can show out as um, anger, obviously, right? Um, the, um, all of the grief that goes around losing somebody, obviously. Um, anxiety. Their team works identify the size of the impact. Who was um, possibly physically close to witness the crisis, who possibly is emotionally close to whoever was in the crisis, um, friends, teammates. Then there are follow-ups. As a parent, Mark Rayley says these efforts provide students a much needed outlet. I can put my hands, my child in someone else's hand that they're going to do what I would do at home. They can get the same feeling and the love, maybe even more, or maybe he even open up more because it's another person. It's support, Priester says, goes a long way to show kids they have someone who cares. Work she wants to see continue. I'm also now training the next generation of, of staff and of counselors and social workers and psychologists to be able to provide um, this high level of support for their kids. Now, Priester says they also look at ways to prevent crisis. So they have a suicide prevention program. The See Something, Say Something initiative also helps in those efforts. And they are also working on a gun violence task force. Live in West Charlotte, Jesse Pierre, WCNC Charlotte. All right, Jesse, thank you. Still